morning this is the day that the lord have made let us rejoice and be glad in it if you can hear me it means you're alive you have breath praise the lord all honor and glory belongs to him and him alone as we continue to look at the topic of obedience we want to recollect that we said obedience first start based on our faith our beliefs will inform our actions. If you believe a chair is strong enough, you will sit on it. If you believe it is broken, you will not. And we are also supposed to obey God from a place of love, devotion, loving him, not just um, following rules and regulations because he said so, or because they say I'm to do this, I'm doing this, and there's no kind of relationship in it, but we are to obey him from a place of love. And today we want to look at understanding. It is important to understand why we should obey God and also to understand those instructions that God is given to us. It is when we gain that understanding that we can then do it truly from the heart. We can do it with meaning. We can do it with devotion. Let us look at Psalms 119 verse 34. Give me understanding and I shall keep your law. Indeed, I shall observe it with my whole heart. I like Psalms 119. It's a very long psalm. It has in 176 verses. If you have the opportunity, take the time, read and study that psalm. And here the psalmist is saying, give me understanding and I will obey your entire law. He is asking God to give understanding in obedience in the instructions. When we understand that God loves us and that his plans are good for us, when we understand that disobedience opens the door to the enemy to come into our lives and make havoc, when we understand that obedience leads us in the path of blessings, when we understand that obedience prolongs our life, when we understand the instructions that God is giving to us and why he is giving them to us, why he's having us to do these things, the fact that he knows everything and we don't know, when we understand these things, we can obey God with our whole heart. But I like the psalmist, he made a commitment. He said, give me understanding and I will keep your law. He's making a commitment and that's a commitment that we can make. But to gain that understanding, of course, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. We have to read the word of God. And without faith, it's impossible to please God. God gives us the grace as well to do whatever he calls us to do. So as we gain that understanding, we now have all of the pillars. We have faith, we have love, we have understanding, and we have grace. Grace. So we are fully equipped to make that choice to obey God. And notice I said to make the choice because it is a choice that we make each and every day with each and every instruction that our Heavenly Father is giving to us. So pray and ask the Lord to give you understanding and the understanding he would give us, it is limited to this realm, to obey him in this realm. There is a greater understanding. When we see him in heaven, everything would be revealed to us. But certainly God wants us to understand because he wants us to obey him from a place of commitment and devotion and relationship. He wants us to be involved in the process Says he does not want robots. That is why he gave us a choice. God bless you.